Hey YouTube, it's me, Lucky UKB, and I'm back with another video. As you may know, today is Raksha Bandhan. So on this auspicious occasion, I am joined by my elder sister, Prachi Bora. Hello Science Geeks, I'm Prachi Bora, another Science Geek, and let's get started on with the first episode of the Tales of Space. watch a sci-fi movie about time travel, the bells in our head ring. Is it possible to travel through time? If yes, how? Today we'll try to provide you with possible answers to these seemingly impossible questions. So time travel. From our childhood cartoons to advanced sci-fi movies, we've seen many representations of how time travel could be implemented. But is it actually possible to travel through time? There are many hypothetical scenarios through which one can travel through time, but what are they? Let's find out. Wormholes. Ever wonder what would happen if we found a magic tunnel which would take us to some other time? Well, a hypothetical theory by Sir Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen proposed the existence of a similar magic tunnel through space-time. These tunnels, called the Einstein-Rosen bridges or wormholes, connect two different points in space-time, theoretically creating a shortcut that could reduce travel time and distance. So does that mean we could travel through time? Theoretically, yes. However, the size of a wormhole is predicted to be extremely tiny, making its discovery difficult. Also, wormholes are extremely unstable meaning it might collapse while you are in it. The theory of wormholes is only hypothetical. A real wormhole hasn't been discovered in space yet. However, the theory is consistent with the theory of general relativity. Who knows what the future holds? We might be using wormholes to travel through time in the near future. Number two, black holes. So as I said in my earlier video, a black hole is a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, no particles or even electromagnetic radiation such as light can escape from it. But there is a hypothetical theory by which we can travel through time using a black hole. To do it, a person needs to stay really close to a black hole while not getting pulled inside it, which, as hard as it sounds, is impossible with our current technology but may be possible with future technological developments. Now the way it works is that according to Einstein's theory of relativity, time slows down around heavy objects such as a black hole. So if you can somehow pull this off, we may be able to travel in time. Some ways to do this would be to create a vessel that can repel the pull of a black hole and which in terms means that a black hole shouldn't be able to pull the vessel inside it while also being able to escape it at any time. Now, this comes with many disadvantages. The biggest one being that we can only travel into the future using this hypothesis. So, even if you can pull it off, you cannot return to your original timeline. Who knows what's gonna happen in the near future? We might be using black holes to mess with time, which honestly sounds pretty dangerous to me. Cosmic strings. What are cosmic strings and how do they enable time travel? Well, believe it or not, cosmic strings are actually topological defects. Within a fraction of a second after the Big Bang, the universe started cooling. Regions where the universe was too quick to cool led to the formation of cracks in space-time. These cracks are nothing but cosmic strings. 
Cosmic strings are narrow regions of energy stretched across the entire length of the never-ending universe. Yes, you heard it right. Scientists believe these strings are either in finite or in loops with no ends. But how do these strings take us to a different time? We just learned that these strings are stretched across the universe. Well, this stretching induces a huge amount of tension in the strings and this tension accelerates the strings very close to the speed of light, thus bending space-time and making time tra travel possible, but only theoretically. The detection of these strings is difficult because these are as thin as a proton. Speed of light. Let's imagine we have a spaceship that can travel faster than the speed of light. At first, you would experience time going slower and slower around you as you're approaching the speed of light. When your spaceship will reach the speed of light, theoretically, it would seem like as if time itself has stopped. Everything around your spaceship would look like it's frozen in place. That is until your spaceship accelerates even more and now is going faster than the speed of light itself. Now everything around your spaceship will look like it's going back in time. Yet it is considered that nothing can move faster than the 300,000 km per second of light that is 186,000 miles per second. The main reason being that you do need infinite amount of energy to do it. But a recent study has shown a description of an article that may be the answer to this infinite energy. These particles called tachyons have some extraordinary properties such as they can go faster than speed of light and they gain speed when they lose energy which is insane. If the set properties are true then it might be possible to move at infinite speed with no energy at all. This discovery may change the perspective of people towards time travel. Time travel is still a mystery. Whether or not these hypothetical theories will make it past papers is still unsure. We'll just have to wait and find out. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel. And see ya in the next one. Goodbye.